Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Pisces in mid-February 2021. What's going on, Pisces? How are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing well. All right, friends. Uh, welcome to mid, almost, you know, late February. And uh, happy birthday to you guys. It is your season, just about. We are, I'm recording this uh, a day shy of when Pisces season actually begins. So uh, happy birthday to you guys, those that are celebrating here at the end of February, and also for those who will be celebrating later in March. I hope your day is fantastic. I hope you have so much fun and you're with your friends as much as you can do so safely. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you're having cake, have a slice for me, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, Pisces also, in general, I'm hoping that you're safe, happy, healthy, and secure wherever you are in the world. Take good care of yourselves and those that you know and love and spread some of that good juju, that kindness, that, that uh, care and compassion towards other people who you might not know so well or, in fact, are perfect strangers, you know? The world could use some of that right about now, okay? Uh, Pisces, since it is your season coming up, you've got a few things to look forward to. So you've got your overall birthday message. I will record that tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow. I'll record that tomorrow, so it'll be up on the channel very soon. Or by the time you're saying this, it probably will be there. Um, and then I'm also going to do a live for you. Let me check the calendar. I think it's on the 13th of March. Let me double check. Yes. So March 13th here on the channel at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the East Coast of the States. I will go live here on the channel for your birthday season. If you have a question for me and you want me to answer it live in front of, you know, possibly, you know, a handful of viewers, <laughs> uh, feel free to join me and I will do that for you. I will gladly do that for you. Okay. And then, uh, of course, you've got your standard March and mid-March messages. So a lot of things coming up for you guys if you're interested. All right. Let's get into to your uh, the regular spiel because there's no other announcement other than happy birthday and make sure you check back with the channel for for your special announcements and uh, your special events okay uh, anything you want from me Pisces it's in the description box below timestamp is down there information on how to purchase a personal reading with me is down there and if you want to follow me on Instagram which I haven't used for a while but I'm gonna get back into the swing of things uh, there is a link down below as well okay let's get you a story let's see what's going on for you enough of the chit chat 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 Let's do it. For Pisces, mid-February 2021, what is the message? Or what are the messages, I should say? Could be more than one. <laughs> oh my god, something smells so delicious. Ooh. You know, I have a sick sense of smell. It's very interesting. Anyway, uh, what are the messages for Pisces? Please show me. Messages for Pisces in mid-February 2021. Hey, that didn't feel right. Got a little chunky there. There we go. Three of Cups. Mm. Mother Earth? Or Earth Mother? Oh, that's Empress. Okay. I, I don't use this deck as often, so there might be a card or two in here that confuses me. Uh, so Earth Mother, a.k.a. the Empress card. And one more, please, for Pisces. One more for Pisces, please. Show me. Oh, look, you showed up. And you bought a friend. <laughs> All right, so three of cups, Earth Mother, Moon, and the Fool. Let's show you these cards individually real quick. AKA Empress, uh, Moon, that's you guys, and the Fool. Earth Mother, Taurus, or uh, Libra energy possibly, and then the Fool, uh, also Aquarian energy. You could be dealing with those signs, but you don't have to be. Um, I mean, get into it, Pisces. I feel you've really worked something out or you're in the process of working something out. You're really in the process of figuring possibly yourself out, this feels like. This could be some type of self-development or some type of uh, new realization about yourself. Um, and it comes for some of you, not all of you. It might come at a cost. It might come at a cost of friendship. Um, you might be burning a bridge or someone might be burning a bridge with you or there's just like irreconcilable differences is what's coming through because there might have been at some point in your life or recently a very uh, jovial connection you had with a person something that felt really lively or you felt really connected with them but as things have transpired in your life or in their lives it has become apparent it's like a mismatch. Like you're now like oil and water. You don't mix. You don't have the same values or you don't have the same outlook. 
And when that happens, it's oftentimes hard to maintain a friendship, maintain a connection with a person, maintain, you know, whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be nasty. It's not nasty for many of you, but some of you, it might have gone that route and uh, it might turn into some very not so nice uh, exchanges between you. But in, in many of your cases, it's more amicable. It's simply drifting away. It's not necessarily a finite ending or you know, you meet up with someone or you talk with someone's like, do you think this is over? Yeah, I think this is over. It's not like that. For some of you, it's just like this natural, like, dissipation of the situation. It just like goes away. Um, regardless of how or why that happens, I think you're possibly coming to the realization, Pisces, that this is for the best. In fact, it's, it's for your higher good. In some of your cases, you're feeling like really attuned to your uh, intuitive self, your higher self, your your spiritual practice or your spiritual uh, understanding and belief system. And you are finding that this relationship leaving your life or this connectivity with not just one person, but maybe like a group of friends, maybe you've outgrown them or they've outgrown you or whatever it is. You know, there's like this understanding that we're not on the same trajectory anymore. And that's totally okay. I feel a, a, a pretty uh, solid feeling of acceptance here with these three major arcana. And that's also big. You've got a three here and then you've got three major arcana. So there's like something about balance. There's something about this being, this all transpiring and unfolding in your life at the right time, uh, Pisces. Um, and again, well, not again, but this, this three of cups could also be for some of you, like the ending of a third party situation, whether that be romantic and salacious or not, there could just be a realization that you were over giving or or if not over giving you were just more present in a third party situation than you needed to be because often th third party situations don't give fairly to ev every partner or every aspect or, or or facet of the third party situation there's usually one or two that are more dominant than the other not always but the, but in in many of your cases that's what it feels like so if this was a friendship it was like <laughs> exactly it was like two of your friends were vibing in the same way and and they were like having more like side conversations without you or they were linking up and hanging out and you were kind of left out of the loop right and where do, where do i get that from because look at the flower crowns that are on the the heads of the dolphins so there's two that are orange and one that's purple right so there's like this odd man out feeling and again that's because when we talk about third party situations, not always, but in many, many instances, it's going to be an imbalance of energy. Not to say that energy is always perfectly balanced just between two. It can be balanced between three or four or 15. It does not matter. But in this particular case, there was like this, you know, behind your back kind of energy. And you realize, oh, I'm not being honored here. I'm not being respected here. My energy is being, ta being taken from me and not replenished. That's not healthy. I'm done. And, you know, as, as loud and ruckus as you were with that, I don't know. As, as finite and like, you know, in your face you were, I don't know. Um, but this is, this is a wonderful, for me, this feels very much like a wonderful, uh, a maturing for you in some sense. It's not to say you were immature before, but it's like that extra, like that extra, you know, cherry of awareness of of value that you've placed on yourself yes you've placed the crown on your own head the crown that's uh at the top of this empress energy right so other people could have crowned you but they didn't not to say like you know you're you're an egotist and like you think you're you know the coolest thing since you know whatever uh, it's not that it's more of like a Again, it's like about value. I'm not being value. I'm being undervalued. So maybe, okay, there you go. For some of you, this isn't necessarily about a third party situation. For some of you, this is about your work life or this is about uh, just how people as as your family members treat you or, or what they expect of you. And it's like, you're not crowning me. I'll crown myself. Um, it does come, like I said, at a cost because for some of you, the relationship will not be repaired. It, it can't go back to what it was. In other cases... It comes at a cost in that you might have to start over with the full energy, but I think, and a little bit with the moon, but I think you'd be all right. Like if you're stepping onto a whole new path or you're starting fresh with something, I think you'll find you won't stumble too much. 
or you won't struggle to 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 recalibrate yourself too much. I feel you've kind of done your homework or you've done that internal work way before the change happened. So it's like being prepared. Like if you know you've got a flight to like tomorrow, I would hope you would have started to pack yesterday. Does that make sense? So it's like you're not going to arrive at the airport going, oh, shit, I forgot my favorite sweater. or Oh, my God, I forgot my medication. It's like, no, you've you've been packed and ready for this trip, this part of your journey for a minute. That's good. Pisces, do the damn thing. I love it. Um, I don't want to clarify anything. I think that's a very clear message. If it resonates with you, that's super cool. If it doesn't, that's also cool. Don't worry about it. Um, but let's get some further information here. So no need to clarify any of that stuff. Um... And it feels very singular. Let me t let me let me say that this feels very self-contained. It feels like you're doing this for yourself. You might have friends, or you might have, in some cases, maybe like a counselor or an advisor who's helping you along the way. Somebody who's kind of, you know, giving you helpful hints. That whatever way it works, because there is still this potential of partnership. Not necessarily in the third-party situation or with people in the past, but Three of Cups can show up, and it shows that we have a harmonious relationship with people. Right. So you might be leaving disharmony and stepping into harmony with new people or, or, you know, like I said, like a counselor, an advisor. You know what I mean? So there is a potential that as much as I'm seeing you as the star of this story, you might have a very strong supporting cast. Do you get what I mean? All right. So what are let's get some additional messages here for you, Pisces. So give me some more messages for Pisces, please. What else can you tell Pisces regarding this storyline? Oh, my God. It didn't fall to the floor, and I'm not going to take it, but that was a lot of shit. <laughs> and those were a lot of cards. Uh, make sure they're upright. Here we go. All right, let's try that again. One more time, please. Additional messages in this storyline for Pisces. What else can you tell me? Six of Swords, absolutely. Moving on. Ooh, some of you are, like, I don't know why. And I don't know how it's feasible, but they're like showing me like people that are going to a pride parade. So that's cool. Go ahead. Do that. I support. Maybe I'll join you. No, I won't because it's a pandemic. But <laughs> the additional part of this two times is showing progression is is showing to me Pisces that uh, and I stopped that too that's very interesting so your your story is very self-contained or it's it's um it's not gonna be more than this is what it's saying it's, it's very interesting that they're my guys are just me me and my guys are on a journey I swear all right so six of swords and three of wands so two times this is showing some type of progress some type of journey some type of glow up in a way um, some of you are legit going places uh, where you feel more at home, more free, more accepted. Again, like there's like that rainbow effect on the turtle. So for some of you, this is a story that plays a little bit into your identity or your allegiance or your your relation to the LGBTQ plus community. Um, others of you just love the, the rainbow and that's your jam and cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's like this growing, like this, whatever you're experiencing, it's like you're kind of going through a metamorphosis in a way, um, but it's very quiet. It's very, possibly, it might not be conscious to you because you have this intuitive uh, signaling here with Earth Mother. You've got this subconscious signaling with the Moon card, and then you have this sort of fanciful or like almost rebellious action or like acting before you think with the fool card so you might not be super conscious of all the ways in which you're changing you're growing you're 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 meta metamorphosizing right you might not be fully aware of how you're doing it but you are doing it um i'm here for it i love it and with the three wands next to it for some of you it has like a very st distinct inspiration behind it for again for those where it's like a, a story of your sexuality or your gender identity like this is the truth you've always wanted to express congratulations 
um, this is the place or these are the communities or these are the people that you've always wanted to be around. Again, congratulations. For others of you, regardless of gender or sex or, or identities or anything like that, it's just this idea of authenticity or, or, or personal truth, personal triumph. Six of Swords is about leaving behind drama, leaving behind conflict, be, leaving behind uh, mindsets and people who don't... <sighs> It's like leaving behind mindsets and people that are adversarial, that are combative for almost no reason, it feels like. Um, and going towards a place where on your own or with a community of people or like-minded people, you find a deeper purpose. You find utility. Very interesting with the Three of Wands, I'm getting this idea of utility. Like a place where you will be crowned or a place where... Now that you've crowned yourself and you've awarded yourself this this sort of this uh, recognition, the next place you go and the next group of people that you find yourself involved with, they will recognize your crown. And not like, you know, in like a bow to me type of energy, but it's going to be a, oh, here comes Queen or King Pisces. Okay, cool. Welcome to the party or welcome to this. And, and it, it's, you know, good to have you on board and like shaking your hand and being like really uh, in welcoming to you. You know, so I feel where you're going or what you're moving towards is a more welcomed and 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 um, embracing environment or an embracing set of circumstances or people who are not necessarily here to cause flack or, or to to discount you in any type of way. They're not going to play games behind your back because, again, there's two dolphins that are like, we're the same. <laughs> and then there's like, you know, the purple crowned. Uh, a dolphin who's just like, what's going on, guys? Like, oh, nothing. <laughs> you know, it's like petty a little bit where some of you have come from, like a petty way of having friendship. And this friendship over here, potentially with new people in your life or, or, or a different set of people, if not you, new people, is just like, wow, I'm so refreshed. I, I never knew what I was missing until I came here. You get what I mean? Let's get you some advice and then that's the end of your reading. What is the advice for Pisces in this situation? Please show me. What is the advice for Pisces in this situation? Please show me. No. <laughs> oh, are we taking that? Yes. Okay. Two cards of advice, eh? Nine of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So you've got three threes. So that's a definite synchronicity for some of you that this was third party situation. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic or sexual or salacious in any type of way. It could be third party between friends and family members. It could be third party in the sense of there's a dynamic between two people, but there's like this third entity such as work, such as laziness or, or spending habits or whatever that interferes in the dynamic between the two. So take it all with a grain of salt. Um, but Nine of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, there we go, uh, comes out as your advice. So put it to bed, Pisces. There's a few of you that are still a little bit touched by this Nine of Swords energy. And you're worried, you're stressed about things to come, or you're stressed about the ending of something, or you're stressed about possibly being judged or, or not being accepted, and, and possibly feeling disappointed. Yeah, disappointed. If you're leaving behind friendships, family, uh, old... Um, possibly with the three of pentacles right next to it reliable workplaces and that's the thing you know just because something is reliable doesn't mean that it's good for us right so if you had reliable friends or people that you talk to every day uh if you were in a relationship with someone for several years and you know certain aspects of the love died but there were certain other aspects that needed to be fulfilled or were left unfulfilled like just because it's reliable doesn't mean it's good for us but there is sort of like this guilt or sorrow about that with this nine of swords right here that you're disappointed that the reliable thing or the thing that you were used to for several years of your life turned out to be a dud or turned out to be not as copacetic as you thought it was you know what i mean so there is a little bit of like i really feel like the nine of swords is like really like 
criticism of the self. In other cases, for some of you, it's like kicking your like kicking yourself like, dang it, I should have like, you know, left sooner or I should have realized this wasn't going to work sooner. You know what I mean? Um, so I think the residual energy here or, or the advice is like talking about residual energy. Try to get out of this whenever it comes upon you as best as you can. Be aware that it's just not just, but it's sort of like your your subconscious is like decompressing subconscious moon decompressing coming out with certain wisdom that you didn't have before and you couldn't have gotten this wisdom if you didn't sort of you know burn the relationship or walk away from the relationship walk away from the job walk away from whatever you were used to in your life three of pentacles like very you know with the with the ants on it like very dedicated and and i don't know there's something here about a little bit of a regret or a little bit of feeling guilty about turning your back on something that was in your life for so long. If it doesn't work anymore, it doesn't work. That's just me on the outside, like feeling like, well, you can't be loyal to something if it's not working for you. And not to, and not to, and, and, and be careful with my phrasing there, because it's not that I'm co-signing on any third party relationship cheating scenarios. No, that's never the way. You should always be upfront, like, listen, this isn't working. Let's just break up. I, I, uh, whatever. It's not my life. <laughs> Pisces, this is your reading though. Uh, if you like this reading, if it resonated with you, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do all that fun stuff. It keeps me circulating here on the YouTubes and their algorithms. So if you want to support me in those ways, please do so. Uh, Pisces, like I said, your birthday reading is coming up very soon. It might already be on the channel. Make sure you check your playlist. I will be going live for you guys on March 13th, 7 p.m. here on the channel. If you want to talk to me, hang out, get a question read uh, through the tarot, I would be happy to do that for you. And you have your uh, March and mid-March to look forward to as well, okay? Uh, Pisces, I thank you all so much for watching. Take care.